weather there didn't look half bad either. For us, though, we've seen some spotty showers and even some possible thunderstorms, and you captured a really cool picture of a rainbow, right? Okay? Yeah, we really did. So just to illustrate what was going on today, we had enough sunshine to give us a couple of those rainbows, and right now a couple of breaks. There's some scattered showers and across the county. We'll have some of those as we go through the evening and snow as well. Let me start off with our live shot as we look out over toward downtown. We're a bit of a break right now as we look up at the 94. Rolling into downtown, there's a break there, but up to the north we do have a couple of scattered showers. A cold night as well. We have had some 40s and a couple of 20s in the higher elevations. Mount Laguna at 28 degrees. Here's a look at Pinpoint Doppler live, and over the past uh, six hours we've had some scattered showers coming on through. And notice some of the blue popping up close to Palomar Mountain, Julian, Mount Laguna. All those shades of blue indicating some snow coming on through. So as we put the uh, sweeps going around the entire county, you can see some scattered showers just off the coast, and that'll be the story for us as we go through the evening hours. Some of those will produce some lightning. All right, here's a time lapse looking out from UCSD. We start at 9 a.m. Look at all the clouds come through, breaks. We talked about we're getting some sunshine today. We we're talking about that last night, and there's your rainbow, 436. Beautiful evening. Saw plenty of uh, nice rainbows out there today. So this is the main storm. It's just now moving right along the coast there. The front has already passed through. That's what gave us the showers early this morning. What we're getting now is some wraparound moisture coming around this area of low pressure. All those little scattered showers, those little, little clouds off in the distance are the unstable air coming on through, wrapping around that area of low pressure. So some of them do have some hail, so we could have some thunderstorms tonight. And also rain, anywhere from uh, trace amounts to a quarter of an inch. Snow down to 3,500 feet, one to three inches of snow by tomorrow morning above, say, 4,500 feet cold storm moving on through here as this makes an exit. It looks like we start to get some clearing tomorrow. Here's the rain future cast. You can plan your evening hours. We'll start off at 7 p.m. There are the showers we just showed you on Pinpoint Doppler live. It's scattered in nature through about midnight. That's midnight and notice most of the county under the green. We're not going to be getting a lot of rain at once. These are all scattered showers coming through. And then by the time we get to about three and four o'clock, it's moving over to Imperial County. Your morning commute by four o'clock. It looks like it's starting to clear on out, but we'll have some residual rain on the road. So take it easy tomorrow morning. High surf advisory tomorrow. We have a uh, five to seven foot waves at Northwest swell coming through a very cold night tonight and some snow for the higher elevations again down to 3,500 feet, but the accumulations at 4,500 feet highs tomorrow, mainly in the fifties and low sixties. So still a little chilly as the cold air is still making an exit. We warm up quickly into Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday, really, and then another cold storm comes in on Thursday. Not a lot of rain with that one, some cold air and just a couple of showers. So for tonight, you might get one of those showers. It'll start. You'll hear it. It'll last five, 10 minutes, and then it's out of here. Then get another one a couple hours later. So the rain should be done for the morning commute, but there'll still be some wetness on the roads. You got careful. it. It'll be up by four o'clock tomorrow morning. All right. Thanks, Greg. You got it.